Together with my friends from RC Jetprint, we are really proud that our F35 is online. And what we didn't expect that already so many of you downloaded this file. So it's to avoid any questions, we are starting this build video series. In this video, video series, we're going to tell you how you set up your printer, um, how you do your first printing parts, uh, how to slice your parts, how to sand and prepare for gluing the, the, the parts together. And in this particular video, we're going to start making the fuselage. Because so many of you already downloaded this, uh, this file, so I got some help from Lai, from the Air Club, and we will put the fuselage together in this one video. Okay, let's start. For making this fuselage or printing this fuselage, we're going to use lightweight filaments from Colorfab. I will put a link in the description. In each and every video, we're going to use different brands of printer. And in this video, we're going to use the Bamboo Lab. These are the, also the sponsor of this video, so thank you for that. On our website, you will find different settings for printing with lightweight filaments. All settings will be found over there. And also all the parts which you need are also found on rcjetprint.com under the head F35. So let's start setting up the slicer and let's see what you get after the download. So when you purchase these files, you will get these folders where all parts are separated to different folders. You also got a specification list for all the parts that you need. All the settings you can find on RC Jetprint. So we're using the Bamboo Lab and the cool thing about Bamboo Lab is you can build your projects. If you can see here, I separated all the fuselage parts on this project. Make sure you use slow printing speeds. I'm using 35 millimeters a second, uh, a minute. And when you go for your uh, spool settings, choose wisely for the Colorfab Lightweight Pillar settings. You can also find this on their website. And I'm using 219 degrees, 239 degrees uh, nozzle temperature. I really like the guys from uh, Bamboo Lab because when you go to your settings, you got your speeds and you got even ludicrous mode, like a Tesla. <laughs> I really like this feature. But for lightweight filaments, you can better choose standard or quiet mode. It's really important that the layers adhere well to each other. It's a really nice machine. Okay guys, this is the Bamboo Lab Carbon. And I started the nose section together with my old scrap pot. And you can see the difference. And this one is still needs a lot way to go. And this one is almost finished already. Awesome.
It looks really, really awesome. Okay guys, look at this part. It's starting to really get amazing. Wow. Let's continue with this part. Ducting section. And the battery is still really cool. So for more temperature on the battery, 150 grams thrust. And it's a cool X motor EDF battery is full. Okay guys, Lai is preparing the last parts for the elevator. And the model looks really, really, really stunning. Okay guys, the fuselage is finished. Uh, look at that, it's really, really, really cool. So let's start measuring it. It should be around 800 grams, and it is actually 804. So this is a really, really better compared to this uh, first model. So yeah, it looks really, really stunning. Cool. Great job, René, on the Harrier. I'm really, really proud of you, my friend. <laughs> awesome. When you start printing lightweight filaments, it's really important to take a look on your infill settings. I'm printing 30 millimeters per minute uh, with fast movements, not printing fast movements. And when you check the gray quality or the white, you in the infill gyroid must be closed like this part, for example. And then the, you got a really strong layer and also a really lightweight part. Okay, look at this uh, example part. This whole piece together should be around 51 grams. This nose piece should be around 10 grams. These two pieces 60 grams, if you are so far. 94 grams, 92 grams. To give you a small idea what the weight comparison is. So here you are guys. This part is really, really stunning. This is the fuselage. And look at it. So like you just saw in the video, it's about 800 grams. Um, before installing the hardware, I will show you the list what you all need. You can also find this on RC Jetprint. 
because like all the magnets should be there for all the doors. Also the EDF fits really really nice. So yeah you got a lot of space to install all the parts. So in the next video we're going to start how to make the wings. Uh, again I will guide you to the process for how to slice the parts, how to cut the parts and even when you have some smaller printer you can cut the parts in QS slicer or in Prusa slicer or even in the Bamboo Lab slicer. It's really awesome. So that will be the next video. Now thank you all for watching. If you have any questions or if you really like starting to build this together with me just uh, find the website rcjetprint.com and you will find some cool projects over there okay guys see you in the next video don't forget to subscribe turn on that notification bell so you win, don't, won't miss out the next video and if you are on patreon just uh, consider to support these projects if you like to see more and a sneak preview for our next projects it's going to be the x32 from boeing let me know in the comments what you think about this idea and it will be a veto too Okay guys, thank you all for watching. See you in the next one.